it's hugely interesting to be here, uh, part of this discussion, to uh, interact and uh, share experiences with, with practitioners, with policymakers, with thought leaders and researchers in the region um, at this critical and important time for the region. Given what we've seen is happening um, over the last three, four months and the fundamental changes that are taking place in the region, um, understanding how, the, how those changes really um, have an impact on what work we do on a daily basis. Um, we're, uh, I'm part of the microenterprise team. We're really looking at working um, with young people, um, mostly young people at the very bottom of the socioeconomic pyramid with the least opportunities, who are looking at, at uh, livelihood opportunities and uh, there's no public sector work. There's very little private sector opportunities coming up. So self-employment, is becoming the only really viable uh, livelihood opportunity out of, of necessity rather than any choice. Um, so our work is really engaging with that cohort of young people. And I think uh, the Arab Spring and the changes have only brought that into sharper perspective. Um, a lot of the discussion is around um, young people's desire for political change, but ultimately that political change has only come as a catalyst as a result of, of lack of economic opportunities. That is really the basis of the problems in the region. Um, and um, there's a sense of, of optimism about these changes, but the underlying problems have not been solved. And I think the challenge is that um, governments, new governments that are coming into power as a result of the changes, or old governments that are struggling to change, uh, to adapt uh, to young people's aspirations, uh, are on a very thin fuse. Uh, young people's expectations and their patience is very thin. Um, and unless new governments or those old governments struggling to stay in power um, really radically uh, uh, change their policies and their attitudes to, to young people and young people's needs, um, I think we're seeing a, a situation where these revolutions have not finished quite yet. So I think when it comes to um, looking at solutions for young people, particularly self-employment, then governments need to step forward and be a lot more radical in their thinking about how we can put in policies, put in an enabling environment, put in policies that really help young people access self-employment opportunities uh, at a far greater scale.